Hello and welcome everybody. Today you'll be learning how to make a custom ROM for your very own device. Now a custom ROM that we're gonna make is consisting of two main parts. The base which we'll use from another um a base ROM and the base ROM I'll be using for this tutorial will be Cyanogen Mod 7 and this is for my device so um, <clears throat> each device varies now Science Mod is a, a community or let's say a group that make ROMs for these devices and all these names here are just code names for a device see mine is Cooper there and I downloaded my ROM, which is yeah. So I used this one for the base, and the finished product became this one. I named it Cyan Light Speed, and yeah, and that is in here. Let's close that for a sec. That is the base. Now. You might have CM9, CM10, 11. 7 is old. What 7 is? It's gingerbread. 7 is the um, seventh letter in the alphabet, which is G, and that's gingerbread. Now, for this tutorial, you don't want to touch boots or meta inf. The only folders we're going to touch are pretty much app for this one, and other ones as we go along and now for the mods um, just to make it simple look we're gonna use holo launcher everyone can use this one and performances X everyone can use this as well these two are compatible with all devices then hence this is just an app and that is a mod and yeah and um, what you also want is an uncompression at all, like 7-zip. I recommend just, just get 7-zip. Don't know how to get it. Um, hit Google. Right, 7-zip. And just download it. It's free, it's small, and it gets, gets the job done. <coughs> now, I will be uploading this subsigner because you, you need this okay this is compulsory for this tutorial and the mods are here so the APK files that have an APK it's pretty much Android package you don't want to touch them you don't want to extract it or blah 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 performances X I'll send you the link to the form so yeah, I know you're gonna extract that now. This is actually a flashable zip, but we don't want the parts that are for the flashable. All we want this is a adrenaline engine. What we want is system and data. Now, before we go into all that, okay, you want to download the base of your ROM. So that's step one download the base extract it and now you're gonna work in this folder you can rename it to whatever you want I'm gonna call it workstation you don't need to worry about it now there's all these folders you don't want to mess around with all of these you, you, if you know what you if you know what you're gonna do with them go ahead but these could potentially break your device so we're gonna hang around this area and um, yeah okay once I got that now we're gonna open it I'm just gonna open another window I'm sorry alright we're gonna go to our mods hope the launcher I know it's the plus version. I'm just doing it for tutorial sakes. It's I know it's um 
it's a cracked one but this is only for the tutorial it's not a so it's not for commercial use now these are all the applications that are going to get installed during boot so you can put any launch you want okay i'm going to get rid of adw the stock launcher because it's not it's an old version you can't update it and all that now what i like to do is don't remove latin ime okay i know it's a big file but don't remove it that is the keyboard and languages for the keyboard these are themes leave them you could mess up the theme database on your device and there's some things you can remove like fm if fm doesn't really work in this rom so i'm gonna get rid of it um i want to get rid of calendar and the provider download provider get rid of them and that's that, that's about it that's what i'm going to get rid of the calendar provider runs in the background and it causes some memory issues you know my dev my device doesn't have much ram okay only about 270 megabytes anyways back to the topic um what i did was just i copied the holo launcher from the folder that I downloaded in, dragged it and pasted it in the fold in the ROM that you just ex extracted it. So that, okay, I extracted that. This is where we're going to work in. I opened system, app, and these are the apps. And what I did was I copied Holo Launcher into here. Now, you're not done there, okay? Now, what you can do now is um, get pure performances. As I said, this all we have to do is it's simple because we can just get system, okay? And all we can do is copy these two folders. We don't want to touch data actually because we can leave that. This is just adrenaline engine. You don't really need it. It's a passive. Um, it's a passive mod, so it only works when you give it the command to do it. So we're gonna touch the system area now. If you're in the system, expin, you got all these stuff. Don't touch them, please. This will go into there. I'm gonna do it like this, so we can move these into there. You wanna replace it? It's gonna overwrite it anyways. For user. See this IDC. Now you wanna copy that folder in here. That's that's done. Etc. You're gonna go to it at the ETC folder. And yes, and you're gonna go in it D. And these are scripts, okay? These are like the boot scripts. They run when you restart your every single time you restart your device. So they mount the SD card and all this stuff. You wanna copy all this. Okay. These are the this is the actual mods do all the changing and crossbreeder now you can leave that you don't need to touch that there should be a file called hosts you want to leave that alone okay next is in bin so you head over to bin and copy these in here. If it asks you to replace it, replace it. Okay, that's done. Okay, you are nearly finished. All right. Now, this is basic ROM, so you made very minor changes. That's about it. 
Now what you want to do is you want to, you don't want to zip this folder, okay? It won't work. Because your phone will think that it's trying to read that folder. What you, what you, what you want to do is you want to get all this. With 7 zip, you just right click and drag. And you want to add to um, workstations or zip or whatever it says. Okay. So we add it to that. That's just showing that folder, which is over here. Now, it must be a zip, can't be anything else. Raw, your phone can only read zips, as in the recovery. If you open it, this sh you should come out of this. If you open it and it comes out of workstation again or whatever you named it, you did it wrong. Okay. Now, this part is important. Um. I'm gonna dr cut this folder. I'm gonna move it into zip signer. Don't worry about this folder. Don't worry about that. Okay. Um. You wanna name this called update? Okay. You don't wanna name it something else. It must be update. No matter what, you can change it after you done the zip bit, the signing bit, but. Before you sign it, it must be update. Everything's like that. Now you can also change. I forgot to mention you can also change the. Uh, um. Oh, don't worry about it. Um. Okay. You want to double click on zip signer. Oh. Yeah, if you're on 64 bits, um, you're gonna have a little bit of issues. One sec, guys. Okay, um, once it's done, um, you wanna double click on that, and it should be writing one. It should say, please report if there's any errors, and um, should be zero kill by start. And when it's done, you know it's done when it says this. And you hit any key. And you should have a folder called update dash finished. Now you can see it's a little bigger. About a thousand kilobytes bigger. <laughs> Nearly. Um and that is a zip you can flash. You can't flash this one, it won't work, it'll come out with an error. Depending on what recovery you you are using, and you want to flush this one, and you now you can rename it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call it test YouTube ROM. Now drag down to your device, build up into recovery. Now, one thing is recovery, and um, you wanna have a custom recovery. If you don't know what it is. You can go on YouTube, or best place to go is forum.xda developers. Okay, this is the uh, website. If you want to contact me on XTA or Google Plus, my name is the unknown thing in XTA. I hope you actually enjoyed this video, and I hope you've learned something. Remember, this is for uh, Cyan Engine Mod Seven. We just made this a basic ROM, and if you followed all these steps correctly, and that message popped up, and you pretty much flashed it and reboot, now you've got an actual um, ROM. You made your own ROM, and if you want to make a different ROM, you know these are all the code names. You know your code name, see. S3, S3 US, these are all, these all vary, okay? Let's see, Nexus 5, <laughs> Hammerhead, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching.